Well, we're gonna continue the rice planting experiment by putting this rice into this kiddie pool and filling it with some water. So here's what the rice looks like. It started way back in the grain, starting grains video. Damn. So it's gotten to be pretty nicely tall. Looks like grass is a grass. And it's gonna transplant it into that. Take some of these plugs out and see what kind of root system we got. Very well, probably too well. So that's way overdue on being planted. I'm gonna try and get some of these plugs out. Hopefully it didn't damage the roots too much, but yeah, they've been left in here a bit too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out, get them planted in there, then we'll talk about it. Here's all the plugs of rice. Just kinda of took them all out of the tray and set them all out. So now I'm gonna bury them. I'm not sure about the spacing, so I'm just gonna make them all fit. And we'll see how the experiment goes when it comes to rice. How much rice is this gonna grow? Is this actually gonna be worthwhile or not? I don't know. I'm sure we'll get some rice out of it, at least I hope so. Will it be enough to actually help us with SHTF? That remains to be seen. That's the whole point in doing this, right? So let's get it planted. So that's what the rice looks well planted out. So I don't know about spacing. I don't know much of anything about growing rice. I grew up around rice growing in fields. It was always flooded, hence the kiddie pool. Well, I think that was more for, to keep grass out of it than anything else. Since rice will grow flooded and most things won't. But there it is, 172 seed tray, uh, uh, 172 seed tray, overseeded with rice, and the plugs plugged out into uh, their nice spaces here. Hopefully, this works. The rice has gotten pretty beat up. I mean, I wasn't gentle with this rice at all. So hopefully, it's a durable plant, and we'll take to its new home and start growing and hopefully have a, a bigger than expected yield. I'm not expecting a huge yield from a kiddie pool, but if I can get enough to make it worth it, then I can expand and put two or three more kiddie pools out here, or at least one more kiddie pool or whatever, and have um, rice added to my staples, along with the winter squash, potatoes, and sweet potatoes, and I gotta find somewhere to put the amaranth. So, it's coming along here in the SHTF garden. You want to keep uh, track of what's going on with the rice or try it for yourself and uh, by all means let me know in the comments how it goes for you i'm going to follow along with this experiment throughout the season do some periodic uh updates when i do my garden updates videos and show the progress of how this is coming along and show what the sages look like and so we can see all learn together how well this idea works or if you have any comments or suggestions or anything like that Put them in the comments below and we'll see uh maybe i'll take you up on it see how this works out if anybody's grown rice before well anyways that's it for this edition shtf gardener shtf gardener garden out i'm burnt i've been in the sun all day today and um if you like share and subscribe appreciate that anyways have a good day keep growing on